A new machine is bought for €30,000. Its value depreciates by 15% each year for five years. Find the value of the machine at the end of the five years. Since this question involves depreciation, the first step is to open up our formula book to page 30 and look at the formula for depreciation. This formula states that F is equal to P times 1 minus I to the power of T. To be able to use this formula, we need to identify the values for each of these letters. Let's start with F, which represents the final value. We are asked to find the value of the machine at the end of the five years. So we don't know the final value, that's what we're trying to find. P represents the start value, and this is referring to the 30,000 euro we paid when we bought the machine at the start. I represents the depreciation rate, and we are told that depreciation occurs at a rate of 15% each year. So I is 15%. Some calculators can struggle with percentage signs, so it'll be useful to convert this to decimal. We do this by dividing by 100. So 15% as a decimal would be 0 0.15. The last letter in the formula is T, which represents the time period. In our question, we're working with a period of five years, so we'll set T equal to five. Now that we know the values of each of our letters, let's plug them into the formula. From here, we simply need to get out our calculator and do the calculation on the right hand side. Our answer represents the value of a machine. So the unit here is euros. And by convention, we round euros amounts to the cents place. In other words, to two decimal places. So our final answer is 13,311 euro and 16 cent. A sum of money was invested for two years at 3% compound interest per year. At the end of the two years, it amounted to 30,000 euro. Find the sum invested. Since this question involves compound interest, we'll need to use the compound interest formula on page 30 of our formula book. This states, that F is equal to P times 1 plus I to the power of T. Here, F is the final value, and this refers to the 30,000 euro we'll have at the end of the two years. P is the start value, and in our question, we don't know the start value. We're trying to find the sum that was invested at the start. I refers to the interest rate. And in our question, interest is compounding at 3% per year. So I is 3%. Written as a decimal, this will be 0 0.03. refers to the time period, and our money is invested for two years. So t is equal to two. Now that we've identified the values for the letters, let's sub into the formula. We need to find the value of p. And unfortunately, our equation here doesn't give it to us directly. 
so we'll have to do some algebraic manipulation. A nice first step here is to simplify the 1 plus 0 0.03 squared. We can simply type this into our calculator. The most important thing to remember when solving equations like these is the following. To remove something from one side of the equation, perform the inverse operation to both sides. On the right hand side, we have our p, but it's being multiplied by 1.0609. To remove this multiplication, we must do the inverse which is division. So here, we're going to divide both sides of our equation by 1.0609. We've now isolated p all by itself on the right-hand side of the equation. All we have to do from here is to go to our calculator and type the left hand side in. Our answer here represents the sum of money invested. So our unit is the euro. And by convention, we round euros amounts to two decimal places. This gives us a final answer of €28,277.88. A company invested €25,000 for three years at a fixed rate of compound interest. At the end of the three years, it amounted to €26,530 and 20 cent. Find the rate of interest. Just like part B, this involves compound interest, so we'll want to use our compound interest formula. As always, whenever we have a formula, the first step is to identify the values for each of the letters. F is the final value, and this refers to the €26,530.20 that we have at the end of the three years. P is the start value, and this refers to the 25000 the company invested at the start. I is the interest rate, and in our question, this is the unknown value we're trying to find. T is the time period, and our company is investing for three years. So T is equal to three. Now that we have the values for our letters, let's sub into the formula. Our goal is to find i. In other words, we need to isolate i all by itself on one side of the equation. Unfortunately, this will take a bit of work, since there's a lot of things around the i on the right hand side of the equation. The key point to remember is the following. To remove something from one side of an equation, perform the inverse operation to both sides. So one by one, we're going to remove everything from the right hand side until we're just left with the i. To begin, we'll remove the 25,000. This 25,000 is being multiplied by the one plus i to the three. The inverse of multiplication is division, so what we'll do is we'll divide both sides by 25,000. We 
we now have 1 plus i to the power of 3 on the right hand side. The next thing to remove is the 3. This 3 is representing a power of 3. To cancel it off, we'll need to do the inverse operation. And the inverse of a power of 3 is a third root. So what we'll do is we'll find the third root of both sides. We are now left with a 1 plus i. So we're quite close to isolating the i. All we have to do is get rid of the 1. Here, this 1 is representing addition. To remove it, we'll have to do the inverse. Since the inverse of addition is subtraction, what we'll need to do is to subtract 1 from both sides. So we found the value of i. It's 0 0.02. Here, i represents an interest rate. And it's conventional to present interest rates in percentage form rather than decimal form. To convert our answer to a percentage, all we have to do is multiply by 100. So our final answer is that i is equal to 2%.